Hello YouTube, so this is a video of my 1997 Toyota Corolla at night now. So uh, yeah, I'm going to plan on showing you the lights. I did not get around to uh, properly wiring up my speedometer or my um, my voltmeter because uh, there's something wrong with the wiring that uh, I, I did over there. So I'll figure it out another time. So first thing, as you see, LED light up there. It's really nice. There's one in the trunk too. Uh, oh, we can hardly even see it though, even with... I got my heated seats. Let's get in. And uh, now it's really dark. Wow. Uh, where did I put my key? No, oh, my keys are still in my pocket. Um, sorry about that. Okay. So I have aftermarket uh, security code. So my code is just uh, defrost twice. Start up. Now the magic comes alive. So. Part your radio, it's red, and light. Ding! So you got blue with uh, a three uh, port uh, USB, um, three port with two USB ports for uh, those 12 volt outlets, plus a double 12 volt outlet. So I've got double 12 volt outlet. It's gonna look better with my LEDs. Let me just. Uh, so that's an LED uh, gauge cluster. There. The kit costs, I think, $10 for 10 light bulbs, so it wasn't too bad. I took four light bulbs for Corolla. I did my friend's Camry, took five light bulbs. That's not that hard to take the dash out. It's just pulling the trim around and taking out two screws. Again, my gauges aren't working properly. It's not wired. So I have my GPS. turns on with, the, with of course, the uh, power turns on, and my dash cam does as well. Uh, let me turn on my lights. Oh, my lights are on. Um, I have LED floor lights I installed with that switch all the way around green LED floor lights and I haven't really see it by the driver's side there you go oh, okay and in the back as well got now you can see a little better hopefully so uh, over here I've got um, let me just turn on the red light so it's better actually no it's still bad okay never mind but um yeah so I got two USBs coming from here going to my dash cam and the USB going to my GPS and then, uh, negative actually, uh, for, the U for the GPS it's a 12 volt, the other USB is for a phone charger. And then over here, I've got um, a, another USB, uh, another uh, 12 volt. And these two 12 volt red lights are for my heated seats, which are actually really nice and warm now. Um, the heated seat kit costs uh, $24 on Amazon, that was really nice. Let's see what difference this LED makes when I turn it off. Go to the door. Yeah, it's much brighter in person. I don't know, this camera doesn't capture much. Let's uh, look at my headlights I installed as well. It's gonna be nice um, because I installed these headlights. They're new, really clear, really bright. And that's just the normal headlight bulbs inside. The actual light fixtures are clear and new and that's just making it so bright. Turn my high beams on is this way, high beams. Look, oh my god, ow, wow, that's bright. That is bright. Uh, let's turn the high beams. Oh, you can see with the high beam on. High beam off, it's still pretty bright. Lights off. Yeah, that's really, I don't know why it doesn't look so green in the camera. It's probably flickering as well because it's LED lights and they tend to flicker on, uh, video cameras unless they uh, have a lot of frames for a minute but it's not actually flickering um, yeah so those are the LEDs I uh, installed in here and um, yeah, I can turn the floor off and on I have a just a uh, little toggle switch here by my uh, handbrake and yeah the radio you can listen to these nice CDs let's see what we got playing here <laughs> As you see, 
I could really play some loud music with that radio. It really uh, goes through speakers really well and comes out really clear and loud. Uh, there are these uh, Bose, I think, speakers from Amazon. And um, they weren't too expensive. I think I paid $100 for four speakers. And uh, got a 300 watt max. The radio is rated for 100 watts. So for sure, uh, I could easily play with this radio. The original factory speakers are rated for, I think, 80. And that's what that and their age made them pop. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice car. I wish I had an RPM gauge. It's, I got it working. I found the ground wire for it uh, uh, directly off the ignition coil. And I tapped into it. And I also uh, found a, uh, a portal I could plug it into um, from the uh, control module or something like that. I found where I could plug that green wire into. And I have the green wire, I must have seen in my last video, going into the under hood already. Just quite cold outside, I'm not going to go there right now and show you. But uh, I've got the positive and negative, uh, positive and ground. The ground is grounded to the frame properly for both the light and the gauge. I'm having problems with my positive for the gauge and positive for the LED lights. It's a LED, blue LED light inside. And the voltmeter is just a positive and a ground. I've got it grounded to the frame, the same ground. I'm getting uh, conductivity between the wires. There's no short. It's for sure grounded. I'm not sure why it's not getting positive. It only gets positive if I stick it into the actual fuse socket. If I fuse, but if I take, but if I put it through this fuse device, it doesn't work properly. Anyways, you want to make more YouTube videos? Uh, comment below, and uh, I'll make some videos. Thank you very much. Bye.